Hey everyone, in this video, I want to share with you my five tips for making colors pop inside On One Photo Raw 2019. My first tip for making colors pop is to simply use your Develop tab. And inside your Develop tab, you can use Tone and Color to modify the entire color of your photo. For this photo, in particular, I'm simply going to pull up on my Vibrant slider here. And the Vibrant slider is a great slider if you want to pull up on some of the more muted colors in your image. For example, if I want to bring up some of this sort of orange color over here and this green over here, I can head down and I can pull up on my Vibrance. Now it did a good job of pulling up on those colors on the roof and on these greens over here, but it also brought a lot of color onto her face. So what I can do to fix that is I can head back over to my color area and I can simply click Reduce Vibrance on Skin. Now if I zoom in here, and turn this off and on, you'll see it does a great job of removing a lot of that color from her face. But if I zoom out, and I look over here on this roof, now if I turn this off and on, it really removes a lot of that color from that roof. So what I can do to fix that is I can head into my saturation slider, and I can pull up on that a little bit to bring out some of the color from the entire photo. But by pulling up on the saturation slider, we're actually increasing the color for our entire image. And by doing that, we brought some of that warm color onto her face. Well, to fix that, without actually removing any saturation, would be to head over to our color area here, and we can simply pull back on our temperature to cool the photo down a bit. About right there. Now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, we've really made the colors pop simply by using our develop tab. My next quick tip for making colors pop would be to use a local adjustment layer. And local adjustments are great for modifying specific areas on your photo. Like this photo for example, if I want to modify the color of all of the areas in this photo except for my model here, I can do that really easily by using a local adjustment. So to add a local adjustment, I'm just going to head over to my local tab here. I'm going to click on it, and it's automatically going to make a new local adjustment layer. I'm just going to go down and I'm going to click this to reset it, and I'm going to head down to my color area here, and I'm going to pull up on the saturation, and I'm going to pull up on the vibrance a little bit. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to brush this on everywhere on my photo except for my model. Now if I turn this off and on, it's done a good job of really pulling out the color in all of those areas that I brushed it onto. Just sort of a quick way if you want to brush in color on specific areas in your photo. My third quick tip for making colors pop would be to use a color adjustment filter. So let's head into effects. I'm going to add a filter and I'll just add this color adjustment filter. And the color adjustment filter is great for modifying specific colors in your image. Inside the filter, we can choose specific colors here and then we can modify the saturation, the brightness, and the hue. Or there's a nifty little tool down here, and we can actually adjust the hue and the saturation and the brightness simply by using a color dropper. So if we want to bring out the saturation of some of these greens and yellows in our foreground here, we can head over to our drop down menu. I'll select Adjust Saturation. I'll grab my little color dropper. I'll click it on a color, and I'll just drag it to the right to bring up the saturation. There we go. And now I'll just head over to that color and I'll pull up on the brightness a little bit. So now we've brought out some of that color in our foreground, let's bring out some of the color in this roof. So we know it's basically a red roof, so we can simply click on our red color here. We'll grab our saturation slider. And let's pull up on the brightness a little bit. 
So now if we turn this color adjustment off and on, it's really made the colors pop in our photo simply by using that one filter. My next tip for making colors pop would be to use the color enhancer filter. So let's head into effects, let's add a filter, and I'm going to add the color enhancer filter. And I like the color enhancer filter because it has the same controls as the color adjustment filter where I can selectively apply saturation and brightness, but I also have my temperature and tint area up here that I can use to modify my white balance. So if I want to use a filter to modify my white balance, I can do that by using this color enhancer filter. So I'm just going to check on my white balance here by using this color dropper, and I'm going to drop it on a white area in my photo. Now that I've corrected my color, now I can go down into my color range selector, and I can pull up on the color selectively like I did with the last photo. So I'm just going to pull up on my blues here, and I'm going to decrease the brightness. Next, I'm going to go into my greens, and I'm going to pull up on the saturation, and then I'm going to pull up on the brightness. Now let's head into our yellows, and we'll pull up on the saturation, and we'll pull up on the brightness. So now if we turn this off and on, we've really made the colors pop in our photo simply by using this color enhancer filter. My last tip for making colors pop would be to use a color range mask. So we're going to head into our local adjustment tab here. And inside this local adjustment layer, we're going to reset it. And we're going to pull up on the midtones a little bit. And then we're going to pull up on the saturation, vibrance. And let's actually add a little bit of contrast also. And let's say we only want to bring out the shades of blue in our cloud area and on the reflection in the water. Well, let's just head into our masking options for our adjustment. And let's head down and select this color range option. I'm just going to head over and grab my color dropper here. And I'm just going to drop it on this shade of blue up here. Now if I go in and I view my mask, I can actually pull down on the color range or pull up on it to either add or remove some more blue areas into my mask. I'd say that looks about perfect right there. So now if we view this, and we turn this off and on, it's brought out a lot of the color in this area over here. But now let's say we want to modify this area, and we want to bring out some of the tonalities and color of it as well. Well, let's add a new local adjustment layer. I'm going to do the same thing and reset this. This time, I'm going to pull up on the shadows a little bit, some contrast, structure, and a little bit of saturation, and vibrance. Now I'm going to head into my masking options here. I'm going to choose color range. I'm going to grab my color dropper here. And I'm going to drop it on this nice shade of orange here. Now I'll head over to my mask view, and I can modify the color range again. Now if I view this, and I turn this off and on, so now let's hit the backslash key in our keyboard. And by using those color range masks, we've selectively brought out some of the color in the rocks and in the clouds.